bridge. Yes. Lovely views. Yes. Gary's organised everything with military precision this morning because lockdown equates to freeze of brain cells. <laughs> and an empty van we had to refill. Yes. I can remember all the stuff we put in the van normally. Yes. There's quite a lot of traffic actually this morning. Yeah. I think this is the first day of people all taking it the opportunity. The garden centre car park was half full as we drove past. Because it's now fully open apparently. I think so, I think they say that, yep. Yeah. 
Yep, see you in a moment. Birmingham, straight down there. It's very clear, really. Well, it's just it Gimbal. Yes. Let's see if we can actually make it work. Yes. Across the bridge we're being uh, approached by sheep. Approached by sheep. Yes. Yes. It's a common thing around these places. Yeah, you can see over the other side there, in the distance, that's the Cotswolds. There's a lovely walk down here about a mile and a half, is it? Yes. Into down the side of the hill into Chipping Camden. Chipping Camden, that's right. We used to uh, do that because there's some lovely places for coffee in Chipping Camden. Yes, hopefully. And hopefully we'll be doing One that day. again soon. Mm. Last time we came up here was in February. Yes, it was cold then from memory. It was very cold. I had my big thing pink. I could have put that on today, actually. I thought, I'm in May. I don't want to put my winter coat on. No, yeah. it's still that north wind, I think, from yes. doing it. I say it's going to get warmer by the end of the week. We look forward to that. Yep. A few more trips. Yes. Within the, within the guidelines. Quite a popular place. Trick of a, you know, dog walkers. Yes. Very popular. And well, the wind's dropped a bit. See the Malverns now. Oh yes, over there yeah. in the distance. Clee Hills oh. over there. I like the Clee Hills as well. Yes. And the Clent Hills. Some good views from up there as well. Indeed. I would have loved to have been Driving off to Shropshire today. I do like Shropshire. Yeah, we just thought it might just be a little bit too far. Yeah. The other side's not quite so uh, so much of a view. No, because we've Cause we're started on the edge the of the Cotswolds, yeah. haven't we, here? It's still all very lovely. It is. Reminds me of the days when we used to drive around when we had an old Spitfire. Yeah. Which uh, <coughs> was good fun. Well, it's not a little uh, uncomfortable with the, uh, <laughs> the low springing. <laughs> yeah, well, it was a lovely little car, wasn't it? It was good. Yeah. So we had some good fun in that. We did. Went on a vintage car run as well with some people. Oh, we that did actually, good. didn't we? Yeah. Yes, that was good. as much as he buffies the van as well. <laughs> might as well, we've got a clean van. Oh, being greeted by a very bouncy dog. Yeah. yeah. It's non-stop. Out of the breeze, it's quite warm actually. It is much more blessed this afternoon. So. Yes, <laughs> I pulled my hat down, even if I do look daft. Yeah. Keep everything warm. Yeah. Yes, it's been a strange old week this week, we felt. I think um, 
lockdown has caused some anxiety amongst people. Yes, and we were, we, you read that article, didn't you, about yeah. the effect of... Fog, fog might. Mind brain fog. fog. Brain fog, brain that was fog. it. And, um, it's a lot to do with being under stress. Constantly. Constantly, because we've obviously been through the unknown and it's continuing. Yeah. And Apparently, it yes, we release certain chemicals. Adrenaline's one of them and yes, something else. When, and it's fright or flight. And that's meant just to last at the most a few hours to get us through that particular crisis. And what's happening currently is we've got this going on for weeks. So of course it's not... Bodies aren't used bodies to it. Bodies not used to that. That's why we're very distracted and, and very tired. Uh, tired, yeah. And um, like me now, can't think straight. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, yes. I'm falling over. Yeah, not co concentration is going a bit as well and things like that. Apparently it's all normal. And walking for us, but, um, luckily we've been able to get out. Um, Does help. Uh, has really helped, to be honest. Well, walking's always and good they, exercise, yes, isn't it? Yes, it is one of the things they recommend to, to do. Um, you know, to help with your mental health and everything. You forget yeah. how big sheep are, oh, don't yeah, you? Yeah, they've obviously... Uh, we have friends what? who have a, a sheep farm. I did try shearing once, I couldn't even hold the shearer. It's so f covered in lanolin, you, it slips out of your hands and the sheep are bigger than you think. You try to hold a sheep between your legs, it's, uh, it's quite well, they're not, difficult. And they struggle a lot, yes. they don't want to be there, do they? No, they don't. Well, that's quite interesting. There's a hole. Mini flock here. Yes. There's normally sheep in this field though, aren't there? Yes, it's uh, obviously opened sure up. Don't get a bit of the horse flies. For the, uh, for the grazing. Yeah. It's like the uh, nature reserve where we walk. Um, yeah. They open up from, I think it's beginning of May to October, they said, didn't they? Yes. For cattle. Particularly so, bullocks seem to be. Yes, yeah. there's a lot of. They're very inquisitive, quite Dominant. small cattle, but they're um, very, very inquisitive. So yes. you do have to be a bit cautious when you're around. There's the black sheep oh, yeah. of the family. Oh. They're quite relaxed. There's a huge sheep up there. Yeah, usually they scuttle off as soon as you get anywhere near them. Very tame, contented sheep. They do poo a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they eat a lot of grass. Well, yes, I guess you have to, don't you? He's multicoloured, look. Yeah. Now that'll mean he's been tucked and he's had and Who he two. belongs to and he's got, two. he's got a number as well. Yeah. Well, shouldn't they number the lamb, same as the mother? Yeah. No. Oh, two. more 24s there. Since we've been watching a lot of re very relaxing art <laughs> artists, <laughs> we've turned into um, art watchers. Um, been watching. No, uh, every every time I go out, I see scenery as though well, I'm going to paint it, which is quite interesting. It's all shapes and colours, and it's very interesting. I'm watching nice a very interesting bird. guy on. BBC Four, Bob Ross. Bob Ross. And his joy of painting. <laughs> Half an hour when we're eating our tea normally. Yeah, I think he's uh, from the eighties as well. To, he sends you to sleep, yeah. doesn't he? I'm not a particular fan of his type of painting. If yeah, I'm honest, I wouldn't buy it's a bit it. Of a, um, sort of American style. Of yeah, but the, it's fascinating how he achieves what he does. And, yeah. Um, the it's colours. A special and, technique he yes, uses as well. Yeah. Isn't he? Ah, gate. The infamous gate opening process. Which I think we've done. Back to our normal habitat for the wood. We were here back in, I think it was February. February, yes. And these stones were still like that. So, uh, I can't 
can't imagine much, much has gone on. No, it would have been very quiet. Yeah. Particularly as we think it was shut down. There's some lovely old trees in this little copse. Yes, let's just try and, uh, try and get with the top. gimbal. Whoops, that's gone too far. <laughs> I haven't quite cracked this yet. Right, I think we're back again. Startled a deer yesterday morning on our walk. Yeah, that was Startled huge. Startled us as well. Yeah. <laughs> flew off. Rather lovely though. Bounding over a very high fence, wasn't it? It was, yes. It does trees, actually. It? Yeah. Do you want to walk around this way a bit? We haven't gone further around. Try around, yeah, yeah. It's nice with the sun shining on it. Oh. Bit of a dodgy gate. It is. All along its hinges, isn't it? You're right. Yeah. We Job done. That looked like a woodpecker flying into that tree. It really opens up the vista. It does. Just being on that little bit of extra height. Yeah. And all of a sudden it's all laid out before you. Well this is a unique experience given the last few weeks. So we couldn't believe how excited we were to try yeah. and get in the van and go you for a walk. Told, told the neighbour. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was that exciting. Yeah. And to be able to have a cup of tea, boil up the kettle through the gate. You're getting good at this. Make sure we shut all the gates, of course. Having met a herd of, uh, a flock, sorry, of sheep on our travels a few months ago, wasn't it? We were driving back down a country lane, went round uh, the corner. There was one very flustered looking shepherd and uh, a whole flock of sheep having a meander. Shaking his bag of food. Shaking his food them. and the farmer going around apologising to everybody. <laughs> yes, we're in the lee of the wind here so it's easier to talk. Um, we're looking down towards the Mulvans and the Clee Hills. There's a lovely Sound tree the here that's obviously died. Looks very stark in contrast to it all does. the green behind it. Quite impressive. Sometimes they get hit by lightning, don't they? They, they do, yeah. Over there, I think it's that Broadway Tower on that. Up on the hill? Yeah. Or is it a bit sharp? It's about five or know. six miles, isn't it, Broadway? Yeah, difficult to tell, isn't it? Like yeah. we said, Looking around, you lose all sense of distance. Yeah. Because you probably can see a lot further than you realise. Well, if you can see over to the Clee Hills, I bet you on a good day you can see Welsh Wales Hills. Probably. Some of them anyway. Obviously you can see the Black Mountains around the other side. It's certainly warmer in the sun. Yeah, it's a lot nicer. Out of the breeze. Out of the wind and in the sun is lovely. Yes. Hopefully the wind will drop. Yeah. Yeah. We were saying earlier about where we'd been if it was a normal year this year, having enjoyed a weekend uh, camping with the Camper King Owners yes, Club. Yes, they'd booked a campsite just for all the Camper Loire, King club it? members yeah. in the Loire. Yeah. But unfortunately, obviously, it was uh, cancelled. And then we were going on down to Germany, Lake Constance, Austria, Switzerland. Yeah. And I did want to go to Liechtenstein, actually. So that'll have to be put on or has been put on hold and maybe yes. for years to come. Yeah. Underneath the Broadway Tower is a secret bunker we discovered. Oh yes. And uh, I went down it. Built during the Cold War. Yes. So it was a nuclear, nuclear 
bunker, yeah. supposedly. Yes. Although, to be honest, it was very rudimentary and crude, and the people living there wouldn't have lived any longer than anybody else, I don't think. I think their uh, high tech solution to have a look outside was sticking a stick out on the top and yes. looking out. Yes, it's unbelievable. Quite basic. Really. Yeah, because it was originally a World War II observation. Post, Post yes. And then they built the nuclear bunker. Yeah, it's like going down into what I would imagine a submarine's like. It wasn't yeah. big, and I think it was for two or three people, wasn't it? It was tiny. Fascinating part of history, though. Amazing to think the world was like that. Yes. Yeah. Obviously, there was some kind of nuclear threat. I do remember, because I went and lived in Germany for about a year, and that's when the Berlin Wall was still in place, and it was amazing how you just accepted the fact that there was a wall through a city, and Germany was in two parts. And that's just the way it was when you uh, grew up. And then the coming down of the wall was a, was a, big a major event. Yeah, it was. We saw part of it, didn't we, at the museum? Yes. Um, the RAF museum, wonderful museum. I want to go there again. Really enjoyed that. It was so big we didn't get around it in a day, did we? No, no. We've been to some. We went to a tank museum, we've been to uh, Bovington Tank Museum. And we went to the National Arboretum. Yes, that was, that was very very moving. Was. Very, very moving, actually. Very well done. Absolutely. And still being still being developed. developed. It's in its early infancy really, isn't it? Yeah. Can't believe it hasn't been there for any longer really. But it is a good to walk around and uh, yeah. Contemplate what's going on. This is one of our favourite walks in the locality, isn't it? Yes, but it's, it's not that far away. And Although, as we said, it has dog walkers and whatnot, it's not generally. It's not busy, generally. Busy, busy. And we normally. We always get parked, can't we? Uh, include a trip down into the. Into the town? Into the town. Can you go through that part? No, the block one. make our way on the last part and we'll see you back at the van. Soup and rolls. <laughs> Tomato soup rolls, chicken. And some crisps. Cup of tea <laughs> and some nice shortbread biscuits. But and it's very exciting. It's the thought that counts. Yes. We're sat in the car park. Yeah. <laughs> but it's lovely. We're back Hooray. Some, yeah. Got a bit of greenery around us. That's all yeah. very pleasant. Yeah. Can't see the views from here, unfortunately. But no. this is just lovely, just to be able to do this. Seems daft, doesn't it, really? Yes. Yeah. The pressures of lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Taking us into soup in the car park. 45 minute walk and a half hour picnic and we're ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> but it just... Brings back all those memories. It's a beginning, memories. yeah. It's a start, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. 